Good morning, everybody. We're at Gravesco Pottery on the Near East side of Indianapolis. This is what it looked like when we first came in. Some of the great work at, by um, Re Rebecca Prouse and her staff. Good morning. Good morning. What Welcome. are you? What are you doing? I'm actually. This is where everything starts. I'm getting the clay prepped and ready so that we can start making pottery today. So what does this machine do? This is called a pug mill. Yeah. And what this does is this chamber mixes the clay so that it's all homogenized and nice and smooth to work with. And then I actually have a little vacuum pump on here. So at, right before we're finished, we'll turn on the vacuum pump. It's going to take all of the air out of the clay. Really? So that it's ready for me to just throw on the okay, wheel and start going. Okay, keep working while we talk. Keep working while we talk. All right. Okay. So what I'm going to do is fill this up. It takes about 50 pounds of clay, 45 or 50 pounds of clay in here. And we'll use some fresh out of the box. We'll also yeah. use some rework that yeah. is from... Um, reclaiming what we've used on other pots. So if you didn't do this, it would be difficult to form the... the yeah. 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 If we didn't do this, we would have to do this process by hand, um, which Wait. is a little bit physically taxing on your wrists and your shoulders, although this doesn't look like it's as easy as you would hope. Mm -hmm. um, but if you didn't do this, it would be more difficult to create the pottery. It is, yes. It would have air bubbles in it, and as I'm making the pots, those air bubbles would actually um, create holes in yeah. the sides of the pottery and keep them from being nice and even. Okay, can we turn it on? Yeah, let me see if I can get it to shut here. I've got it nice oh, and it's full. Got it, it's got it. <laughs> so what what's going to come out here now is what's going to come out of here is a three-inch log of clay, and I've got some over there. We'll take a look at. Um, mm. And what I do with that clay is we'll actually measure it off into equal amounts. So now it's coming out. Is that correct? It's correct. Yeah. Oh, I, I'm sorry to make this analogy, but that looks a lot like how you make sausage. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Is it kind of? It's, yeah. it's a similar machine inside, yes. Okay. So what's the machine called, by the way? The machine is called a pug mill. A, a pug mill. Pug mill, yeah. P-U-G, yep. So we just do this. Can you cut it off? Slice the so clay So now off the next step is for you to give this to yourself or one of your artists. Mm -hmm. Now would that be the same thing that would be thrown on the wheel or is this just for handmade stuff? We use this for both. For both. Yes. Yeah, so this particular piece has a little bit of silica in it to give yeah. it some tooth. We'll use this for hand building. Yeah. Yesterday we prepped a bunch of clay for wheel throwing for a couple of days. Worth. Could we do some of that building and wheeling and stuff? Absolutely. Okay. Let's do that in the next segment. Stay with us. <laughs> 